beautiful day here in the Motor City. Hi, everyone. Greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. Moments away, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Detroit Pistons here at Little Caesars Arena. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Chris Weber and Craig Anthony. David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. Hey, Dave. Thank you very much. Well, it may be hard to remember now, but Joel Embiid did miss his first two seasons due to injuries. He said, it was rough. I think about what I went through and how it prepared me to be a better man. I really feel like I'm the process, and the process is about me. So every time I step on the court, it's all about having fun. I'm just enjoying my time in the league. Kevin, back to you. A lot of depth in there, David. Thank you for that one. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Taking a look at Detroit, here in the early part of the season, they've acquired the third best record in the conference. And of course, Philadelphia, just a couple spots back. Well, right now for the 76ers, they've stayed right there, just in sniffing distance of the conference leaders. That's a solid accomplishment at this stage of the season. Well, it's possible we haven't seen them at their best yet. They've shown they can play with any team in the league. Now they need to do it every night, not just some nights. Look at the 76ers starting group. The stars of this team in the post, Harris and Embiid. Curry is out there with Shake Milton, and it's Green in at the three spot. And for the Pistons, they've got Grant, Josh Jackson out there with Cunningham. Then there's Isaiah Stewart, and it's Diallo in at the three, the small forward. And already, Greg, we're seeing some of the new wrinkles that players have added to their game. No doubt. The, the work doesn't end when the season does. And if you're trying to improve your skills or if you're trying to pack on good weight, that kind of stuff needs to get done during the offseason. Now, here's Stewart. And he makes good on the way. Stewart's got the first points on the scoreboard for the Pistons. And an efficient start here offensively, working it inside for the easy two. Murray finds Green. Out left to the wing. Stewart against Embiid, and the shot is good. Well, this is why you feed Embiid the rock. His teammates trust his ability to get the job done inside. Pass to Cunningham. About one minute into the first quarter. Stewart passes to Jackson. Lock at six. The three buries the long-range jumper. And it's important that Jackson become consistent from deep. That definitely has the touch to make shots from there. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's a three-point game. Here's Harris. Some solid defense from Grant. I don't think the D does good enough here, but something causes the miss. Cunningham kicks to Jackson. Over to the wing. Here's Grant. Stewart trying to get open. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. This game coming on the heels of their win against Chicago. Yeah, I felt like they attacked, but with a purpose. They knew what they wanted to accomplish coming in. Aggressiveness is everything, and they certainly played with a ton of it to get that one. Now here's Jackson coming off a stellar performance against Milwaukee. Cunningham gets the bucket. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Curry dishes to Green. Right wing. And Embiid, the bucket on the assist by Green. Embiid's got his second bucket tonight. That's the savvy veteran Green. He's able to spot when his teammates aren't being covered. That's a nice read right there. Cunningham passes to Diallo. Dishes it to Jackson. Here's Grant. That one's rebounded by Embiid. The 76ers trail by three. And certain guys post almost identical numbers year after year. Danny Green is one of them. 
Yeah, Greg, I mean, the production has been very consistent since his third season, but he also gives you intangible toughness, deadly in the clutch. I mean, his coaches and teammates trust him alike. Now here's Jackson after the miss from Joel Embiid. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Four on the clock. Here's Grant. That one doesn't drop. And it's Philadelphia the other way. Harris kicks to Curry. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. And the wide open shot from Green. He nails it. And we're tied up. The accuracy of Green shooting is remarkable at times. I mean, defense should know he can't be left alone to get good looks from out there. Now, here's Cunningham, guarded by Kirk. Jackson in the corner. To the middle, it's stolen by Harris. Milton in the corner. And Grant sends it back. Whether it's on the perimeter or inside, Grant's great at blocking shots. He's a fantastic defender. Cunningham gets the bucket. Wow. He doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. Milton the pass to Harris. Outside Curry. Over Cunningham. Curry gets the bucket. They're taking advantage of the mid-range area. I like seeing Curry connect from there. And so it's Cunningham. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. They put up a nice win against the Bucks the last time out. And the bench turned up in that one. Whatever they couldn't get from their starters, they got from the reserves. And when the bench steps up, it takes pressure off the starters. And they stepped up big in that game. Now here's Curry. Turned in an outstanding game against Chicago. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. And Green, no good on that one. Well, well, not the most heralded prospect to ever come out of North Carolina, but Green has been a big contributor to a number of NBA championship runs. Now, here's Cunningham, another key contributor in that nice win against Milwaukee. This guy is a high flyer, I mean, especially for a power forward, and he needs to be as an undersized player. For Philadelphia, they've gone 5 of 9 from the field here in the first. Pass to Harris. Milton with it. Let's the three fly. Here's Embiid. It's Cunningham with the rebound. On the wing, Jackson. Stewart down low. Curry meets him. Down to five on the shot clock. Stewart misses. The 76ers lead him. Tries from 10. Here's Embiid. Count the basket. Embiid's got six. Well, hammering the boards. That's what you want. Hammering the old boards. I mean, Embiid putting his size to good use. The pass to Stewart. Cunningham looking it over. Back to Stewart. That one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Harris dishes to Green. Now Milton. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And Harris wide open. He shoots. It's good from long range. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Pistons trail by four. Outside Jackson. Pass to Diallo. There's the three. Buries it from three-point range. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Man, man, let's talk about it. The great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. 
And I feel like Josh Jackson is proof that the right mindset can go a long way for a player who wants to improve himself. Oh, yeah, Greg, I think he took criticism about his game to heart and, and look for ways to grow. Then he put in the work, and now he's performing at a higher level because of it. Here's what Detroit's going with right now. Olenek, he's checked in for Stewart. Bay comes in for Diallo. Joseph, he's checked in for Josh Jackson. Saban Lee subbed in for Cunningham. Here's Corkmans. The rebound by Grant. Grant's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Joseph. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. And the basket by Olenek. And the Pistons lead by one. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. With the floater, Maxi, no good. Detroit's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Here's Grant. He makes that one drop only a second and five tries. Tenacious play there by Grant. Doesn't let the defender keep him from his finish. And here's Maxi. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Another miss by Philadelphia. Pistons leading by three. Lee with the ball. And it's Grant in the corner. Down low. And Olenek gets it to go on the assist this by Grant. Because he attracts so much attention now, Grant has to be able to find the open man. The 76ers trail by five. Pass to Drummond. They get a hand on it. Out to the wing. Here's Niang. He's covered by Grant. And Grant sends it back. Lee outside. Passes to Grant. Back to Lee. Now here's Bay. He's tightly guarded. Philadelphia's gone three and six, 50% from deep so far tonight. Here's Niang. Trills the three-pointer. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Here's Grant. He had 16 points in the win against Milwaukee. To the paint. Here's Olenek. Rebound Andre Drummond. Olenek the pass to Grant. Over Drummond. No good from Grant. That's the only way to hold him in check. When he's got it inside. You got to have a body on him right away. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Taking a look at Chicago, they've achieved some upward momentum, climbing to the fifth spot on the board. And checking out Detroit, they've shown their capabilities, but it's been in flashes. If they want to move up this list, it may take greater focus, greater commitment. Now here's Drummond, another key contributor to that nice win against Chicago. Korkmaz kicks to Niang. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. A Pistons leading. Lee outside. To the inside. Grant and the dunk by Grant. 56 8. You add in his hops. Grant's got no problems dunking for you. Philadelphia's gone 4-7 from three-point range so far in the first. Bobbed up there for Drummond. And another turnover here by Philadelphia. That's just a needless giveaway. You've got to make the defense work for their turnovers. Jackson, he's checked in for Detroit. Here are the Pistons with the ball. They're on an 11 to 3 run. To the middle. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. 
Now it's a six-point Detroit lead. That's their third straight make off an assist. 107 left in the first quarter. Kicks to Drummond. This one for three. Rebounded by the Pistons. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Jackson passes to Joseph. Left side, Grant over Maxi, And Detroit again with the bucket. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Knocks it loose. Now Detroit moving it out. Here's Bay. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. The 76ers trail by eight. Korkmaz, guarded by Jackson. Bangs home the trifecta. Niang's got his second basket of the night. The assist is the key to that sequence. I mean, a great look to set him up. Joseph, the pass to Olenek. Joseph looking over the floor. And that does it for the first quarter. Pistons lead by five. And we'll be back right after this. Stan hungry, Joel Embiid continuing to improve every season. You know, coming into this year, I just wanted to, you know, take advantage of, you know, every single day. Uh, you know, just making sure I was in the best shape of my life. Well, he's already made huge strides in his conditioning, and it shows. Not satisfied yet to win that MVP trophy, but he is more than capable. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Pistons. Well, they've carried out a great game plan in the paint so far. Working it down low a lot and getting high percentage looks. And also, how about the willingness to attack the basket and challenge the defense here tonight? And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. And Detroit looking at who they've got. Underneath in the post, it's Grant and Olenek. Jackson is out there with Corey Joseph. And it's Bay in at the small forward. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Korkmaz passes to Maxi. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Joseph. 11 points for him in that last game against Milwaukee. Jackson in the corner. Puts up a three. Kept alive. Grant on the follow. And the Pistons lead by five. And I think like Grant can really hurt you on the offensive glass. You have to put a body on. And stolen by Bay. Floats it up for Grant. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Going up high for that one. Jeremy Grant. It's a terrific alley-oop part. Philadelphia's gone 5 of 9 when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Now, here's Maxi. He's covered by Joseph. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. To the paint. Here's Grant and the dunk by Grant. Monster night for Grant. Who knew a few years back that he would blossom into a lethal score? The 76ers trail by nine. And the 76ers call time here. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important 
if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. And a different look here for the Pistons. Stewart checked in for Kelly Olynyk. Josh Jackson comes in for Grant. Diallo's checked in for Sadiq Bey. And it's Cunningham in for Corey Joseph. Now here's MB. What a 24-point outing in their last game against Chicago. And how about his defense? I mean, four blocks on the night. They couldn't keep him down. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, thank you. The Sixers have improved under Doc Rivers. He helped to define roles. Rivers said, I did that day one. We're playing through Joel, but Ben is the facilitator. And Simmons said, Doc's holding everybody accountable. It's about staying focused and not getting distracted. We have to stay locked in. Kevin, back to you. Well, they've got the talent for sure, D.A. Thank you. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for MB. Last season, Embiid posted career highs as a score. And, Greg, he did it with unbelievable efficiency. And how about hovering around that coveted 50-40-90 club? What's amazing is how comfortable he looks. The defense is never able to speed him up. And MB drops them both. And Chris with the Fab Five in Michigan and that powerhouse Kings team with so much shooting and passing. How special was it to shape the way the game is played now? It's so special to see vestiges of our style still in the game. I mean, in Michigan, not only did we influence the game with fast break, uh, 94 feet of defense, but, you know, we also changed the expectation saying, hey, it doesn't matter, you know, what you think of me. I can go out there with hard work and earn my spot and change the expectation of the game. As far as Sacramento, you know, it, it's just so awesome that, you know, we left our game in the NBA. And what do I mean by that? So many teams now play that offensive style that we had uh, at Sacramento, and you need a few keys to do it. You need a great player, you need great passers, you need unselfish guys, and you need a family atmosphere in the locker room. And we had it all. Just five on the clock. Jackson misses. And so Curry will bring it up for the 76ers. They trail by nine points. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Diallo with it. Now defended by Embiid. Jackson passes to Stewart. It drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. And Jackson is a terrific passer at that forward position. Fantastic at setting the table for his guys. Now here's Curry. Here's Embiid. There's the pass to Milton. Philadelphia needs to get a shot on. Curry can't get it to go. A fantastic effort on D to get up in his face and deny the layup. Now Cunningham. He has six. Stewart trying to get open. Yep, that one goes in there. Diallo's got the lead up to 13 now for the Pistons. The 76ers have gone 2 of 6 in the field in the second quarter so far. Outside Curry. To the right side. Releases from 15. And there's Embiid. That's good on the assist by Curry. Embiid's got four points now in the quarter. Detroit with the ball. They're on a 14 to 6 run. Here's Cunningham. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Harris kicks to Curry. Feeds it to Embiid, and Embiid throws it down. That's a good heads-up play from Seth. Look, he scans the floor, finds wide-open men. And the Pistons decide to take their first timeout right here. <laughs> and when you bring up the process to Embiid, he just says... It's an ongoing thing. Yeah, he's explained it a few times. I mean, it's a process for making the playoffs, then another one for the conference finals, then another one just to go to the finals. And that doesn't even have you winning a ring yet. 
Lee's checked in for Frank Jackson. Pistons leading by nine. And here's Cunningham. He's got six. In the corner, it's Diallo. Detroit, no good that time either. And the foul called on Cade Cunningham. That's foul number two for him. The 76ers trail by nine. Milton the pass to Curry. Back to Milton. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fourth assist in this one. Detroit's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Lee against Curry. Nice four for seven from the floor with that shot. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. 76ers have gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. Pass to Harris. No good that time. The Pistons go the other way with it. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Yeah, the offensive arsenal of Embiid is just phenomenal. I mean, he's capable of scoring in a multitude of ways. So it's Detroit now. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. Now, here's Cunningham, guarded by Embiid. Diallo the pass to Jackson. From the baseline. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Harris finds Curry. Now Embiid. On the wing, Milton. They get the rebound. The second effort, outside Green. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Green's got his third basket of the night. Great look provided by Embiid. The big man. Drop it down. Lee with the ball. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. It's stolen by Green. Pass to Milton. Now here's MB. Guarded by Stewart. Offensive rebound. And it's in there. Embiid's got 16. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the 76ers. They're setting the tone early with their defense, keeping the pressure on and taking chances. And they've got a bunch of steals to show for it. Yeah, also, though, they've done a good job of pounding the offensive glass for second chance points. Yeah, that's a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was on the way down. Detroit making a switch here. Olenek's checked in. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Mark Miles, he's checked in for Shake Milton. The 76ers trail by five. Curry with the bounce pass. Harris passes to Embiid. Over Stewart. And Embiid, the bucket on the assist from Tobias Harris. Embiid's got 12 now in this quarter. He's wrapped up his game in a big way this quarter. I don't think he likes it when they're trailing. Inside, it's deflected. Embiid with the steal. Now the 76ers on the break. Here's Korkmaz. Again, Philadelphia. Here's Lee. Nine-point game is last outing. Pass to Jackson. And there's the pass to Diallo. Here's Olenek. No good off the front iron. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Got a hand on it. Now here's Diallo. Guarded by Harris. Shot good by Diallo. That's just the product of good pass work. I mean, nice team basketball right there. The 76ers trail by three. Now here's Curry. Pass to Harris. 
Shoots the three. Korkmaz, no good. Detroit's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Here's Lee. Second chance shot, Jackson. That shot off. Good D by Embiid. Harris dishes to Curry. Harris finds Curry, and there is a whistle. That goes on Hamadou Diallo. That's foul number two for him. A different look here for Detroit. Grant, he's checked in for Stewart. Bay comes in for Diallo. And it's Joseph in for Josh Jackson. And Philadelphia will go for a different look here. Drummond's checked in for Embiid. George Niang comes in for Harris. Matisse Thibault's checked in for Green. And Maxi subbed in for Seth Curry. Now, here's Maxi. Here's Korkmaz. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Well, oh, defense, they just took that possession off. I mean, they get away with it that time, but they got to show some more aggression. And it's sent back by Drummond. Oh, and the coaching staff loves this effort. They want Drummond to keep swatting shots like this. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter, and now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Drummond working against Joseph. Got a piece of it. Now the dish to Lee. Back to Joseph for the three. Korkmaz grabs the miss. And Kelly Olenek is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Now the 76ers with it. They're on an 18-6 run. Bobbed up there for Drummond. An emphatic LU jam. Well, you just got to respect the leaping ability of Drummond, leaving the floor effortlessly, throwing it through the hoop. Here's Joseph. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Grant, and the dunk by Grant. You got to love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. 76ers trailing. Pass to Drummond. Here's Niang. Passes it to Thibel. Offline with his three. Detroit's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Driving inside. Joseph, the pass to Lee. Rebound by the 76ers. The D making that layup look very uncomfortable for him. Good aggressive work down low. Here's Korkmaz. Olenek is covering. He's forcing things a little bit in this quarter. Settling for shots that he'd be better off passing up. Grant goes in, and he makes that one. Grant's got 10 points now just in this quarter. What the impressive athleticism of Grant. I mean, he's able to bounce off the contact and finish shots. Here's Drummond, and he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. Jeremy Grant, he is feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Detroit. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much with Doc Rivers. Doc, a back and forth affair so far. How do you pick it up in the second half? Well, they were just a more physical team. I mean, they blew up all our actions. They got all the 50-50 balls. We got back in the game because we started doing the back out. So that's important. We'll see if we can keep that up. Thanks, Doc. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Quite the tussle there in the first half, huh? What a start for Jeremy Grant. He had 18 points, two assists, and six rebounds. Kenny, what's your take on Detroit so far? Well, first and foremost, you got to take care of the basketball, and that means playing with poise, making good decisions, and not giving away any possession. They did a great job of that in the first half. And over to Shaq, what did you think about Philadelphia? Well, their bench production has been a major factor. Guys have been ready to go when their number is called. It makes the second half go a lot easier on your main guys when you can spread the minutes around in the first half. And that should do it with the second half about to begin. Let's send you back 
to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. You look at Jeremy Grant, what a contribution. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Yeah, working the ball, getting clean, quality looks. I mean, just efficient basketball through and through. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. The 76ers trail by three. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Jock Rivers. Down on the block, it's Harris and MB. Curry is out there with Shake Milton. And it's Green in at the small fold. Good on the three-point shot. Green's got the opening bucket to start the second half for the 76ers. And so it's Cunningham. He'll bring it up for Detroit. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. And Grant now top of the key. Stewart kicks to Cunningham. There's Jackson with the three. That shot off the mark. Now the 76ers take it the other way. And the pass to Embiid. Milton in the corner. Back to Embiid. Stolen. Little over minute gone here in the second half. Outside Jackson. It's stolen by Green. Stewart with the steal. Here's Jackson. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And Jackson with the quick first step there. When he's taken off towards the rim, he really does force the defense to have to try to foul it. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And from the line a season ago, 73%. Shoot two. He misses the free throw. And they are excited about Jackson, a high motor guy with a ton of room to grow and also displays terrific leadership on both ends. And he sinks the second. A little bit shaky at the line. I mean, he did the important part and got him in front. Now, here's Milton, guarded by Jackson. Here's Harris. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Jeremy Grant picks one up. And along with terrific production, Harris is an interesting team leader. Very positive in his approach. The 76ers have gone two for three at the foul line in this game. And their numbers from the line last season, they're good, just not great. About 77% as a team. it up and this next one could give them the lead and Greg Harris has grown more vocal as his comfort level on the team has risen and Kevin he's always had it in him now that he's a veteran he's earned the right he always seems to bring the guys together and that one falls and that puts him up by one point well, his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about he doesn't even know how to go through his cold streak to Diallo. Stewart trying to get open. Goes back up. And he lays it straight in. Stewart's got eight points. This uh, game has a lot of character here in the third period. Six changes of the lead here. Intensity is the theme for this one. Hilton the pass to Green. And the three off target. Detroit's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. It's tipped. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. You too. 
His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Philadelphia's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's Curry. Poke loose. He kicks to Embiid. That's tipped. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Sadiq Bey was the 19th pick in 2020 out of Villanova, and he made an immediate impact for the Pistons. Dwayne Casey said he's a coach's dream, adding he's made himself into one of the top three-point shooters of his class, a defender, and he's just scratching the surface. Guys, not bad for a rebuilding team. You're right, they got a good one. Thanks. Embiid with the steal, pushing it up. No one near Curry as he lets it go. The 76ers again can't hit it. Outside Jackson. Grant against Harris. And the shot goes in. And that's 20 points for Jeremy Grant. Well, Grant has the accuracy to make it work. I mean, from mid-range, sinking in a tough shot. The 76ers trail by three. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. They kick it out to Green. They grab their own miss. And stolen by Diallo. Cunningham passes to Stewart. Down low, here's Jackson. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Jackson's got six. They are just killing him on the interior. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Philadelphia. Pass to Harris. Milton in the corner. To end the drought. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Harris has got three assists now in this one. Did you see the no-look pass by Harris right there? I mean, he's a wing that knows how to move the ball. Now, here's Cunningham. He's got ten. And no good. Good D by Embiid. 76ers have gone just 25% from the field here in the second half. They're two of eight. Milton with it. Jackson on him. For three, Harris. Another three for Philadelphia. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Now Cunningham. Diallo finds Stewart. Outside Jackson. Lets it go from deep. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got his fourth rebound in this one. Passes it to Milton. Six on the shot clock. Detroit with the rebound. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would tonight. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Philadelphia with the ball. Harris dishes to Curry. The pass to Embiid. Outside for Curry. Here's the three. It's held in by Diallo. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. It's stolen by Milton. Green with the ball. Now defended by Grant. And there is a whistle. That goes on Hamadou Diallo. And that'll be his third foul so far. Olenek, he's checked in for the Pistons. Frank Jackson comes in for Jackson. Then for the 76ers, Andre Drummond's checked in for Joel Embiid. Matisse Thibel comes in for Danny Green. And Maxie's subbed in for Seth Curry. They get it back. Pass to Thibel. Back to Drummond. Stolen by Grant. In the corner, it's Diallo. 
And it's on a bottle for the Pistons as Detroit retains possession. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. And you can tell he feels he should have had it still. The hustle was impressive. A different look here for Detroit. Bays checked in for Diallo, and Corey Joseph subbed in for Cunningham. The 76ers also with a sub. Korkmaz is checked in. Pastor Grant. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Back to Joseph. Shot clock at six. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the 76ers? If you want to see how efficient the offense is running, a great stat to look at is points off assist. And they've gotten a ton of assists throughout this game. Couple that with just how well they've shot it from beyond. And they've made this thing look easy. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And Joseph drops them both. 76ers trailing. And here's Maxi. Six points for him. Goes up to the stripe. Here it's no good. A golden opportunity that he can't make good on. Maybe a wake up call to the D, though. They can't leave him alone like that. Bible can't get it to go. Detroit's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Joseph with the ball to the paint. And stolen by Thibel. Passes it to Drummond. Stolen by Jackson. Left side, Grant. Here's Bay. Off target from outside. It's a neck and neck game in Detroit. To the inside. Here's Harris. Makes it off the glass. Harris has got 10 points in the game. Uh, with broad shoulders and a solid upper body strength. Now, Harris is lethal around the rim. Joseph, the pass to Olenek. He dishes it to Jackson. Into the lane. And the dunk by Jackson. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail biter. Philadelphia shooting not great. 40% for the game. Now the pass to Drummond. Rebounded by the Pistons. Grant's got nine rebounds now tonight. Jackson with it. He's picked up by Drummond to the middle. Here's Grant. Some solid defense from Harris. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Inside. Here's Drummond. And Drummond throws it down. Wow, you got to admire the aggression. Drummond leaving no room for error with the nice slam. Pass to Jackson. To the middle. Here's Olenek. And the dunk by Olenek. That those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And, and rightfully so. Also, how lackluster was the defense right there with the score this tight? Here's Max following the bucket by the Pistons. Here's Korkmaz from outside off the mark. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Detroit Pistons. He feeds it to Grant. And stolen by Thibel. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Drummond. And it's Drummond with the jam. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right. And that's severe punishment right there. <laughs> oh, you're right. And I love the opportunistic approach. These kinds of hustle plays can be game changers. So it's Detroit now after the Sixers pick up two. 
And Joseph kicks to Jackson. Down to five on the shot clock. He takes it in. Here's Bay. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Drummond's got his fifth rebound in this one. And don't get in Drummond's way when he's going for a rebound. He said he had to rough up a teammate for stealing his board. Yeah, Greg, well, I mean, that's his bread and butter. Take a word of advice. Let the big man eat. And that's the shot that Drummond drains constantly. Just such a nice touch from him. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and, and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. Lee's checked in for Detroit. George Niang, he's checked in for the 76ers. Pass to Bay. Drummond working against a Linux. Passes it to Grant. Takes the turnaround, Jay. It's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Korkmaz. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And now a 5.76ers lead. Now here's Lee. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Back to Grant and stolen by Drummond. This offense has really been clicking. And they know it, guys. They're playing right now with the kind of energy that is hard to deal with. Here's Korkmaz. And there's the pass to Maxi. There's the triple. That one, no good. And Detroit the other way now. Here's Lee. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. Korkmaz, no good. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I, I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Takes it inside. Shot by Joseph, no good. Philadelphia with the ball. They're on a 16-6 run. Here's Drummond. Rebounded by the Pistons. Oh, Linux got rebound number seven for him tonight. Here's Joseph. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. To the paint. Niang passes to Maxi. Out to Harris. Wide open look. And he hits the jumper for two. Harris has got the lead up to seven now for the 76ers. Uh, this is what the play's designed to do. Space the floor. Give Harris a look that he likes. And so it's Philadelphia heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Yeah, he put it on a platter and it was served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. We've got a Linux. Sadiq Bey is out there with Josh Jackson. Then it's Corey Joseph. And it's Lee in a point guard. That's the group for Detroit right now. And the basket by Jackson. You can count on Olenek to move the ball quickly when he spots an open teammate. And that feed was phenomenal. Philadelphia leading by five. Here's Maxey. Very pretty alley -oop layup. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. -oop. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. And the foul called on Danny Green. That's foul number two for him. A different look here for Detroit. Stewart comes in for Joseph. And Diallo is subbed in for Bay. Shake Milton, he's checked in for the 76ers.
Here's Lee. Driving to the basket. And it's sent back by Drummond. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Drummond. from the arc. Uh, and look, you have to give credit to Harris. He is very good at getting his hands up and making shooters feel uneasy. Down low. Outside for Curry. Over Stewart. The shot by Curry, no good. Uh, he hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. The good thing he has the guys around him to carry the weight. Lee goes in. Slammed home, and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. That one on Harris. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Harris. What's up? Free throw, good lead. And so Curry will bring it up for the 76ers. They lead by four. Pass to Milton. Over to the left wing. Here's Embiid. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That went on a Linux. Very difficult to deal with inside. I mean, once Embiid gets the positioning he wants, you almost have to follow. The first one falls. Man, you got to respect that Joel and B rises to a challenge. I mean, he's had a lot of criticism thrown his way. And instead of taking it poorly, He's got even more down. And the Pistons making a change here. Cunningham's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. It, and it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Stewart kicks to Cunningham. Jackson from long range sinks the triple. Jackson's got five points in the quarter. A good look there, and he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. Out to the right wing. Here's Embiid. Another miss by Philadelphia. Pistons trail by three. Here's Cunningham. And that's out of bounds. Detroit will retain possession. Olenek inside, guarded by Embiid. Well, you can tell the shooters are nervous when Drummond is close by. He is so skilled at getting his hand up when shots are being released. Green kicks to Drummond. Pass to Embiid. On the wing, Green. Now Drummond. Outside for Curry. And the three ball is good. In perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. But well, it had to be. These days, you need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. Now Cunningham. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And you can see why Cunningham elicits comparisons to Luka Doncic. Can control the pace of the game. Very high basketball IQ. And show the maturity beyond his years. Shooting two. And the first one drops. And also like Doncic, 
Cunningham can put the offense on his back and carry it. He could put up 50 plus numerous times in his career because he has deep range, can break down defenders off the dribble, and if you run two at him, he will immediately find the open man. And so Cunningham nails both of them. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. And the dunk by MB. Well, look, the defense looks just helpless, man, because Embiid on the slam. Let's just be real. He's so physical. Now, here's Cunningham, guarded by Kirk. Cunningham inside. Curry meets him. Count it. And the Philadelphia lead has been cut down to just four points in the bucket from Cunningham. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. And here is Milton with the drive. And love the size Milton gives them in the backcourt. Yeah, great. I mean, six, six with a seven foot He's a good finisher. Great around the game. Shot release. This might be a little low, but because of his height, it hasn't been a problem. good on the free throw. Wow. I mean, what, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and he's good on the second. And right now, at about 85% from the line, that's up from where it was in that first half. It's Jackson with the drive. Milton grabs the board. The 76ers leading by five. Good on the bucket. And it's Cunningham with the ball for the Pistons. Pass to Stewart. Now, here's Cunningham. Tight defense on him. And Cunningham with the slam. That should give him a nice little jolt. Uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GM. Hey, guys, you think he was sending a message on that one? He doesn't like losing. Milton with it. Dishes it to Green. And stolen by Diallo. There's the pass to Jackson. Now, here's Cunningham. Pass to Stewart. Jacks up a three. Diallo, no good. The 76ers have gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Milton. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Milton's got the lead up to eight now for the 76ers. Now, here's Cunningham, guarded by Kirk. Takes the 13-footer, unable to get that one. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Milton the pass to Kirk. Another three for Philadelphia. Three-pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. To the inside, a slam dunk by Diallo. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board, and I, I don't mean style points. A 76ers leading by nine. Outside curve. Bobbed up there for Drummond. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. I mean, come on, fellas. Keep your head in the game. I mean, that pass should have been basic. Jeremy Grant, he's checked in for Isaiah Stewart. Unable to get the...
the ball in bounds. They get called for the five-second violation. He didn't turn it over once in the first half. All of a sudden, he's given them one gift after another gift after another. Milton with it. Jackson on him. The open shot. Green. The offensive rebound. MB. Yeah, with the way that Embiid moves at 280 pounds, maybe a little bit more. I don't know how anyone can do it. The free throw drops for MB. And one difference this have is that when they get to the line, they're converting. And so he makes both from the line. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. Joel Embiid with a strong contribution in this one. Now he's been a force inside. If they don't commit more bodies down low, he's going to keep destroying them in the paint. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Joel Embiid. On the offensive boards, he has been a force. Uh, offensive rebounding is all about pursuing the basketball, and, and he has not stopped that pursuit all night. The second chances he's created have been a big factor. And as the star of this team, he knows he's going to be the object of the crowd's anger. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, Dwayne Casey just going over the game plan with his team down the stretch. He said they played well in certain areas, but the lack of detail to the defensive boards has allowed their opponent too many second-chance opportunities. And that, he said, is the difference in this game. They have to get busy on the glass, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. It's Cunningham with the rebound. Cunningham's got rebound number five here tonight. And Jackson throws it down hard. And Jackson can definitely rise and be free. Got to keep him out of the paint, or you're just asking for trouble. The 76ers leading by nine. Outside Curry. Pass to Milton. Stolen by Grant. Now, here's Cunningham. He's covered closely. Let's go. Diallo, no good. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, and they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Oh, that's not the kind of interior defense you want. Way too slow to protect the rim. Timeout called the 76ers. Where their goal was to limit their turnovers. I mean, they've wasted way too many possessions with giveaways. The 76ers making a switch here. Harris has checked in. Philadelphia's gotten off to a great start from three point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. Outside Curry. From outside the arc, connects from three point range. He's getting hotter the deeper we get into this game. I mean, he didn't give him, he didn't give him much of anything in the first half. Jackson with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Cunningham gets the bucket. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Curry passes to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty <laughs> on that dunk? A nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Now, here's Cunningham, guarded by Curry. The feed to Jackson. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. He's wrapped up his game in a big way this quarter. I don't think he likes it when they're trembling. Passes it to Embiid. Back to Curry. Lock at six. And the layup falls. Curry's got 11 in the second half. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. And then Cunningham with the dunk. That should give them a nice little jolt. Uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GA. Hey, guys, you think he was sending a message on that one? He doesn't like losing. Up top, MB. Oh, 
They kick it out to Green. And another shot. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And he knocks down the first one. So he gets them both. Pistons trail by 10. Now here's Cunningham. Here's Grant. That misses off the back. Door. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. First one falls for him. I mean, look, every year, Harris looks more confident. He goes through stretches where he can dominate. And Harris drops them both. And they're doing a very good job at the line this half. And here's Grant. He'll bring it up for Detroit. A 12-point game. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Philadelphia leading by 12. The shot by Curry, no good. Detroit's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Here's Cunningham. Milton grabs the board. Philadelphia has gone to three-point range for 12 of their points in the final quarter on four of five shooting. And the pass to Embiid. Second shot opportunity. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. The free throw drops for Embiid. Here's Cunningham. To the paint. Here's Jackson. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. And Josh Jackson picks up the foul. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. 151 left in the fourth quarter. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Cunningham gets the bucket. Cunningham's got 12 points now in the quarter. Uh, who knows what this score would look like if he wasn't on his game tonight. Outside Curry. One twenty-nine left in the fourth quarter. It's Cunningham with the rebound. Cunningham's got six rebounds in the game. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the 76ers. The sheer volume of three-pointers was the deciding factor tonight, it seemed. Yeah, they, they'd sink one and, and then do it again, and that strategy did work. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year, actually their fifth win on the year. And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far, they've won two straight. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Joel Embiid. He was the one dictating the pace tonight, playing up tempo or slowing it down, but always scoring. The free throw drops for MB.
And MB drops them both. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Cunningham passes to Diallo. Grant with the ball. Guarded by Harris. Grant, that's good. Well, that's Grant's game. Uh, he, he doesn't need the ball much, but he just needs a good pass, and he'll knock it down. Left side, Harris. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Here's Embiid. The 76ers with another miss. Here's Diallo. Up and in on the layup. You can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. Yeah, how they ended this one is much different than how they started it. And that's a shame. And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. Yeah, they got to be happy with the outcome. Harris dishes to Green. Pass to Embiid. They kick it out to Green. From deep, Crane's the three-pointer. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Showing remarkable poise and focus uh, throughout the game, a sustained effort across the board. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily, and in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, G.A., a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Hey, thank you, Kevin. Joel, congrats on the win, a quality win. How did you secure it? Oh, we played. We were tough tonight. We won soft. Uh, we shared the ball defensive, and we were really good. And that's what we got to do the rest of the season. Well, you're building towards something good, man. Congratulations on the win. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for being with us. See you later.